Hi everyone, welcome to today's vlog. First of all, I'm really sorry about the not very good lighting and the fact that you can only see the very top of my head, but um, Martin's loading up the car, so I've kind of closed myself in here and this is, I wanted to get this vlog done before we move because we're actually moving in about an hour's time. All the packing up is done, but this is the only place I could find. So I'm kind of perched on the edge of the bed, but I'm a bit low. You're up on a shelf. So yeah, apologies for that. And I've still got my nighty on. Um, yes, I thought I'd do a little update of how the goals that I set myself last week because obviously this has been the first week of January I thought I'd just do a little update about how it's all going I've also got a weigh-in update um, like the start of my weigh-in because I did weigh myself this week and I just thought I'd just have a little chat about how it's all going I have to say that um, I haven't been hundred percent some things I've really enjoyed and therefore I've done them every single day and other things I've had quite a resistance to and I've noticed as well that the resistance has got worse in the last couple of days and I think it's because I knew we were moving again and it, although it's not stressful it it's kind of on your mind and therefore it's not so easy or so effortless to do these other things anyway that's I, I know I'm very good at making up excuses I am and I do own that but I think anything like this any kind of health well-being diets all this kind of thing it's not about perfection it's about consistency and I feel like I've been quite consistent this week so that's that's a win for me Anyway, let me show you. So with the morning routine, so what I wanted to do was a 20 minute morning exercise routine. And I have done that every day this week, except yesterday, where I did absolutely nothing. I really didn't want to do it. I couldn't be bothered. So I just didn't do it. So six days out of seven is not bad. Um, I did record one morning my little routine mainly because I wanted a little record of it so that I can hopefully see how my body shape changes so I'll show that to you now <laughs> So that's not the whole routine and I just I think I look absolutely horrendous um, I have put on weight which I'll talk about uh, in a minute but like I say I hope we can over the next months see the change and that will be quite motivating I hope the next thing was swimming three times a week I've only been twice so that's that um, I could go this afternoon but I probably won't again keeping it real practicing spanish 45 minutes a day i have done that every day actually and i've really enjoyed it i think partly because i've joined up to this spanish class and it's starting again on tuesday and she gave us a lot of worksheets homework to do and so I found that quite motivating and I've, I've quite enjoyed sitting out in the sunshine and, and doing my studying. So that's good. I won't do it today. I just know I won't. I'm not in the mood. I want to get moved and we've got things on next week. We'll go to the bank tomorrow morning. That's on my mind. And so I know I won't do it today. So again, six days out of seven journaling every day and doing my drawing I have loved doing that and I've done that every day including this morning so that's been really good and I've yeah I've enjoyed it so that's great and thank you to everybody that um sent me their addresses so that we can start writing to each other that's going to be fab so that's all good um losing weight 
So I, in case you don't know, I lost six and a half stone following Slimming World and I kept that off for um, probably for six years, I would have said, five to six years. And then a couple of years ago, well, basically when we decided we were going to move and the house went up for sale, since then it's all gone a little bit pear-shaped and I reckon I've put on just under two stone. So I'm just under two stone heavier than I was at my lightest. So I did weigh myself this week and I came in at 14 stone two pounds I did have my shoes on actually because I went to the pharmacy because my friend's scales isn't working. So I went to the pharmacy and got weighed. So I did have my shoes on. So I will weigh every week with the same shoes on. So it's like a, you know, a, a true reading. Not every week, sorry. I'm going to do a monthly weigh in. So that did give me a bit of a kick up the butt, I have to say, because I was you know, at my lightest, I was 12.4, I think, 12.5, something like that. So, you know, that's not going in the right direction at all. And something needs to be done. As I said in my last uh, vlog about the healthy living, I'm not going to follow Slimming World. I'm going to sort of eat intuitively and healthily, concentrating on whole foods, and what I would like is to be kind of 90% of the time very healthy foods and then 10% what I want, what I like, what I feel like. Um, this week I would say it's been more like 60-40, which isn't great. We had pizza one day, we went out for Chinese, we went out for beers. I had two ice creams. Oh, we had friends round as well. And I had a lot of cheese, a lot of bread. And those are the things, I'm not going to call them good and naughty or anything like that. But those are the things that I can't eat without putting on weight. They, they are not good foods for me, I have to say. And also not in the quantity that I eat them in. When the cheese and the bread is all laid out, I, I don't have a stop button, you know, I really, it's almost triggers me, same with ice cream, um, yeah, so I thoroughly enjoyed it all, and as I said before, you know, life happens, and it's not going to be 100%, because that's unsustainable, it's not about perfection, it's about consistency, so I think this week has been okay, um, I'll put on the screen some of the healthy things that I've been eating because, you know, as well as the things that I've just said about, I've also, I've made um, baked oats, which were delicious. I made them with oats and chickpea flour and banana, eggs, a bit of kefir yogurt, baked them in the oven, I've been having those for breakfast with fruit. Um, we went out when we were in Rosario and we had tomato on toast for our breakfast rather than a fry up. So, I ha you know, it's not all been bad. I also made some of my chickpea flour flatbreads, which I love having those for lunch. And then I um, cook some vegetables and put them on the top and then loads of salad. And I really enjoy those. So I need to make some more of those very soon. What else was I having? Some quinoa with uh, like a kidney bean veggie kind of chilli thing. I made a big thing of chilli and we had that, I showed that in my last vlog with potatoes, we had it with rice and then, so that was all good. And then the last night that we had it, we had nachos because I bought them for when our friends had come around and we hadn't eaten them. So it was very nice, but I mean, it's not ideal again for me crisps things like that are not great for me um so in my kind of notes for this week's food intake i've just put that i felt worse after too much bread and cheese bloated and no energy um 
I found it difficult again because of using up food and because we're moving. So again, is it an excuse or there is, you know, it, it is hard. Um, I don't feel like I've done enough steps this week, but I'm feeling positive for next week. And even though next week is probably going to be even more chaotic and potentially more stressful, I need to keep trying. So Monday, tomorrow, I will, you know, go into it with a positive mindset and, and try again. But, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say I've been perfect all week. These are the lovely, healthy things I've eaten because that hasn't been the case. I have eaten lovely, healthy things, but I've also eaten things which, like I say, for me, I know are not going to help me lose weight. So, yeah, but there's still three three and a half more weeks of January to go. So hopefully, fingers crossed, what else was I? Oh, and then I have my each week list and I have ticked off everything on that. So it was, um, I was Zooming with my family, which I've done. I had a good chat with my dad and my sister and also with my mum and my godmother and her daughter and her son. That was really nice. Um, we went looking for sea glass one day, done my vlog, listening to a podcast. I want to try and get back into that and listen to a podcast every week. And I listened to one this week with Fern Cotton, Happy Place, and it, she was interviewing Tuppence Middleton, who that was really interesting. I really enjoyed listening to that. I did my code word puzzles. I met up with two friends. And I also chatted with a friend on the phone. That was something I wanted to do. I drove the car. Um, and, oh, I've also added to this list to try the gym. So I haven't managed to do that this week. Maybe next week, we'll, we shall see. So yeah, all in all, it hasn't been an amazing week, but it's been good. It's been, I feel more motivated than I did last year, I have to say. So yeah, all good. How's everybody else getting on with diets or goals or anything, fitness? Let me know how you're getting on in the comments. We can support each other and um, I'll do a similar vlog this time next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.